pediatrician to be exact. Unlike other children, I had never changed my mind constantly. I was going to be a pediatrician, and my mom would always joke around saying I'd be a doctor for her one day. In seventh grade, my best friend, Tony Smith, shout out to you, really wanted me to join the drama club at Pierce. I had no theatrical experience, although my parents did constantly call me a drama queen, <laughs> but I did not think I would be any good at it. But I decided to try it anyway. I mean, why not? I went to one of the rehearsals, and I fell in love with it. Ever since then, I wanted to be in theater. It was the first and only time my dream occupation had changed. Many people were supportive of my ideas, but some were not. People would say, Kiera, you're a valedictorian. Why are you wasting your abilities on something as frivolous like musical theater? People didn't believe that I was living up to my full potential if I wanted to be an actress and performing on Broadway. For a while, I accepted that. And I decided that going to a college for theater wasn't the best choice. But then, one day it hit me. Aren't I living up to my full potential by doing something that I love? I want to be an actor. Acting is who I am. So, my advice to my senior class is to find out who you are and stick with it. Live up to your potential by doing what you enjoy. Whether you want to be a doctor or an actor, a scientist or an artist, a lawyer or a teacher, or even a manager at a retail store. Pursue your passions. Don't lose yourself because society may look down upon you. Be you. Don't be the next to anybody else. Be the first you. Don't follow in anyone else's footsteps. Create your own, both big and small. And don't stand behind someone else's shadow. Put yourself in the, in the light and let your greatness shine. Because class of 2014, we made it.